Now I'm going to show you how to put together the Cocker Spaniel Ear Cleaner we've been using on all of our dogs for years and years and years. And the recipe's been on our website for a long time too. People actually think that we came up with the recipe ourselves. That's not true. It was actually invented by a lady named Jackie Christie, who was one of our mentors in the early days of our breeding program. Jackie uh, ran High Acre Cockers, and she was also the secretary of the Cocker Spaniel Club of San Diego County. And Jackie took a recipe that existed in the cocker world for, I don't know, since about 1950, I think, something like that. And uh, she drastically improved upon that old recipe, made it a lot better, and uh, that's the recipe that I'm going to tell you about now, the new and improved version, which is very effective at fighting ear infections in Cocker Spaniels. Now, you can find the recipe on our website, zimfamilycockers.com, and you just scroll down the main page until you see where it says how to prevent and treat ear infections. Click on that, and that opens up the page with all the information about the ear cleaner, including the recipe, which you can then print out, and you'll just uh, go by that. Now there's four ingredients in the ear cleaner, and all of which you can get at your local stores. Between the grocery store and your local uh, drug store, you should be able to come up with all four of these. The main ingredient is isopropyl, or what's sometimes known as rubbing alcohol. And you'll see in the store, sometimes they have 70% alcohol and 91% alcohol. You're going to want the 91% alcohol because that's got a lot less water in it, and you really want as little water in the ear as possible. So main ingredient, 91% alcohol. It also has distilled white vinegar, which you can find in your grocery store. And then uh, a product called Betadine, which is kind of like iodine. Uh, it's an antiseptic solution, and you'll find that in the drugstore over the counter. And then the tricky part is to find this. Some people seem to have trouble finding it. It's boric acid powder. Now, we got it right in our Rite Aid store, right over the counter, but if you have any trouble finding it, uh, just ask the pharmacist at your local pharmacy for some uh, boric acid powder, and you can tell him you're going to be putting together, you know, ear cleaner for your Cocker Spaniel, and uh, he'll help you find it. And if you totally strike out locally and you can't find it, uh, I usually have a link on the ear cleaner page that will take you to places on the internet where you can get the boric acid also. One other thing you're going to need is a bottle to mix the solution up into and then to apply it into your cocker's ears. We get these bottles with this neat little spout on them from the local beauty supply store. But it really, you don't have to use this exact bottle. You could use any kind of, you know, a, a plastic mustard bottle all cleaned out or whatever. But we like these bottles from the beauty supply store because they have markings right on the side that show the measurements in ounces. And that makes it really, really easy to mix up the recipe. And I'm, I'm going to show you exactly how that goes. So I don't have the recipe memorized, so I'm going to cheat and look at the printed instructions here. And the first thing is to pour six ounces of the alcohol in there. So because this bottle has ounces marked right on the side, I can just pour until it comes up to the six ounce spot on the side. That's why I like these bottles. So here we go with six ounces of alcohol. Okay, I'm up at the six ounce mark and I'm done with the alcohol. Set that aside. Now I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of the boric acid powder. So you can just dip in here. I'm gonna get a level teaspoon and dump that in and then add another half a teaspoon in there and dump that in and you want to try not to get any of that on your skin or anything because it is it's acid so that's not going to be real good for you so now we just put the bottle top on here plug up the hole on the top and I'm just going to shake it like crazy and you want to shake this thing until you look at it and you see that the boric acid is pretty much all mixed up in there and you can't see the little boric acid powder anymore. It's gotten all mixed up into the solution. So after you've shaken that really, really well, you're gonna add two ounces of the white vinegar. So again, because I have ounces, 
measured right on here, I can just pour until I'm up two ounces higher than I was before. So there's two ounces of vinegar. I'm going to put the cap on and shake it some more. And then the final step is to put in the betadine in there. So it's one teaspoon of betadine. And this stuff can stain and make a real mess, so you're going to really want to be careful with the betadine, not to spill it all over the place. Let's get my teaspoon here. All right. It's got a very deep red color to it. And then when you mix that in here, it turns the ear cleaning solution to the color of like iced tea. And I'll mix it up again. I've got my finger over the end of the cap so nothing spills out. And then when we're all done there, you can see it's the color of iced tea and that's your ear cleaner. You may want to mix it up some more because I still see a few little granules of boric acid floating around on the bottom there. But that's not going to be a huge problem if there's a few granules. You just want it mixed up as much as you can. And now all you got to do is put it in the dog's ear. So easiest way is to kind of make like a funnel out of the ear. Hold the ear up like that so it's just like a funnel going down into the ear canal. And you pour that stuff in there until you see it come all the way up to the top. Then you just grab it and squish it around in there with your hand. Same thing on the other side. Fill it up. Squish it around in there real good with your hand. And we always do this outside because of what's just about to happen. As soon as I let go, she's going to shake her head and that stuff's going to go flying all over the place. And because of the betadine that's in it, it will stain things. So you don't want to do it inside by your nice carpet or by your couch. And you really don't want it on your clothes. So as soon as I let go, I'm going to kind of back off <laughs> and she will fling it everywhere. Now, if your dog has a real bad ear infection going and there's all sorts of junk inside the ear, here's what you do. You put a little bit of that ear cleaner onto a cotton ball and then go in there with the cotton ball and clean things out with your finger. You could do it with a Q-tip, but it's not a good idea because you might have a tendency with a Q-tip to push it in too deep and possibly damage the ear. There's no way you're going to damage things with a cotton ball at the end of your finger. So just with a little bit of ear cleaner on that cotton ball, you can rub things out in there and get out any big chunks of gunk that might be in there.